Yeah, g'day, it's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Just a, uh, a quick video this morning just to uh, do a quick update on what I've been playing around with. Um, what I did is I added into the sketch um, the required code to turn um, some existing hardware which I built a year or so ago into a, a phasing receiver. So exactly the same code as we saw yesterday but all I've now added in are the Hilbert transforms um, as well as uh, the various ways of routing the, the information once it's been digitized uh, in that um, audio codec. Uh, do a bit of DSP and then feed it either out the um, line out uh, which is on the receive side here or um, out the um, line out for transmit. Um, I, I don't tend to go through this today. If people are interested I will certainly will but uh, today was just more uh, a quick update just to say that it looks like things are working quite well. Um, here goes a station here, CA1 VKO, uh, quite a way down, but um, a little bit quiet on 40 meters at the moment down here. But suffice to say, if I just, uh, how do I move my transmit frequency? It's going to move that down a bit. It's going to get into a clear frequency. Okay, so I should be away from that person there. Um, I, I, I am going to transmit on very, very low power here, uh, just, to, just to show that it is actually working quite happily. So if I just enable the transmit, I've got a um, receiver sitting here on the side that's just just monitoring. Oh, there we go. So that's me going out. So that's working quite happily, which is good. So the audio is obviously coming from here through the serial cable to the Tensi and then out the line out, back through. Right, let me just disable that. Um, back through the the hardware. So just a just a very quickly look at the hardware. Um, for those who may recall, this was the uh, the rig that was built about a year ago. Um, essentially, I'm just I'm just using the hardware uh, just to do f from a testing point of view, just to make sure that um, the software is working quite happily. Uh, and then it's the intent to go back through and have a really good close look at um, uh, potentially a better way or whatever way of actually doing that whole front end there. But you might be able to recognise um, a couple of SBL ones there. They're acting as the two direct conversion receivers. Uh, coming in on the two black wires there are the quadrature uh, local oscillator. Um, our bandpass filter coming in. So we're getting our audio coming out there, our quadrature I and Q. That's going into the Tensi in the line import. Uh, the Tensi itself is then doing the uh, the additional phase, uh, additional 90 degrees uh, phase shifting. Um, it's doing that by uh, um, a, a, a minus 45 and a plus 45 degrees Hilbert transform so therefore the group delay going through the filters has remained the same um, and then they're added uh, or subtracted depending on what the upper or the lower side band and then it's now being fed out through the serial cable uh, of course now that's fully cat control from a test point of view with this hardware don't need the screen and don't need any of the front controls it's all been disabled now it's just not required um, it would still work if it was to squirt, uh, to squirt up into the TNC, the original software, then this would turn back into a voice um, SSB brig uh, with the output coming through uh, the audio amplifier and the like. But at the moment this is purely just a, a test bed, uh, uh, I guess, uh, finalising and making sure that the software is working. But that's, uh, yeah, just a little quick update there. Um, seems to be working quite well, not a huge amount of activity, um, just debating what's the best way of doing it from a um, should I have a direct conversion receiver which obviously you have a lot of rubbish down at the zero hertz um, or maybe it's better to have uh, the local oscillator running at a slightly different frequency um, have that audio going into the Tensi uh, at a um, at an IF albeit an audio frequency IF uh, and then do some additional shifting uh, in the Tensi to uh, to bring that back down to correct baseband before feeding it back here into the uh, into the software. Um, there is a bit of rubbish down here, which, uh, like I say, just purely just playing around this morning. Uh, I need to hunt out where that's coming from. Uh, is it art is it the artifacts from the uh, direct conversion receiver going directly to baseband, um, or is it something else? Uh, just for interest sake. Uh, I did have, just for testing purposes, oh, in fact it's, it's here not there because I know it's working, I just had a, um, a, uh, a SIG gen sitting on the side just providing some frequencies just to confirm things were going. Uh, here it is coming through there. If I drop that down there, another 500 hertz. It should drop down to about there somewhere. 
Air is coming through. Let me just turn that off. So, uh, let's see if I can decode this guy here. Uh, has he stopped transmitting? Yeah, so um, I don't want to ramble here too much, but suffice to say that um, things are working well, and there was a question on the last video, uh, did I see any dropouts, or am I seeing any dropouts in the audio uh, coming in, in across on the uh, the serial cable here, uh, a, a, while the radio is doing uh, cat control. Now, you can't see it here, but behind the scenes, um, the, the radio is being polled uh, quite regularly. Uh, for a uh, the mode, um, its, its ID, uh, as well as uh, its status, so that's going on the whole time, and I'm not seeing any uh, any artifacts or anything else to suggest that it's interfering with uh, the quality of the of the signal coming in. Now I haven't been paying attention. Okay, it looks like that is him coming through there. So yeah, it's amazing how you know minus 16 or minus 14 dB there. It's just amazing how much or how little signal you need for the software to work. But uh, I don't want to. I don't want to try to reply to him for for a simple reason is I haven't actually read up on how to use uh, the software, so I, do, I don't want to pollute the airwaves uh, with me going out. So I'll just leave that. But um, but uh, suffice to say, things are looking pretty good so far, and um, and by all accounts, having this one cable to do both the cat and the audio uh, seems to be working well. Okay, I'll leave that there, and I'll keep tinkering away and. Um, if people find these little updates annoying, let me know because you know it just takes effort to put these up. Um, if people find them interesting, then I'll continue to sort of drip feed them um, as something of interest comes along. Okay, cheers all and 73.